Hello, I am Bentham, and welcome back to Rodano, where we are currently on fire. Let me go fix that. Actually, the well, the ship's health wasn't going down. It was going down very little. Interesting. Maybe I can try fighting this for a minute. But yeah, in the previous episode, we died to this fire, and so we've reloaded to give things another shot. For some reason, the health is dropping really slowly, and I don't know why. Maybe it's proportional to the amount of fire? I'm not really sure, but I, I observed, like... Ow. I, I had a look at, uh, like, how long it takes for the uh, for the air to leave enough that the fire goes out when you open the uh, open all the doors. And basically, if your ship's health is lower than 10, it's too late. And we're getting towards that, so I will open all the doors again. And get tossed about all over the place while the, the airflow goes crazy and tries to work out where I'm supposed to be going. And then we just wait for a bit. And the fire is gone. And everything is good again. And we can continue with our murdering of all the aliens who are hopefully bad guys. Alright. Uh, did we finish fighting whoever we were fighting? I need to know where they are. Are they below? I don't see them. Maybe I killed them before I left? I forget what happened with the final fight. Possibly. But I guess we can continue on. Though, of course, our health is uh, a bit low for the moment. We'll just start flying towards this dot in the distance over here. While making sure to stay away from the atmosphere. We'll go back into the swing of things with combat and then we'll try fighting one of those big things. The scary big circles that could be anything. Should hopefully be healed right about the time we arrive at this guy, or maybe slightly before. Should be fine. But I think that might be... that might not involve any of the missile ones, because it's a filled circle. Something like that. It's actually a lot further away than I thought. But here it is. And yeah, it's just a fleet of the uh, the fighters. So that's not too bad. Combat speed, move in. There's a lot of them though, so it's a little bit hairy. You might have to fall back and regen for a bit at some point. There we go, one down. Here's another one. Swing it around. Give chase. The other ones are getting shots on me. Oop, there's one right there. And we're on fire again, for crying out loud. See you later, guys. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, ah, the bridge is on fire. Crap, crap. Actually, I can probably put this one out because if it's confined to the front of the ship... Oh, my extinguisher ran out and I don't have any particularly nearby. I've got to run back here and grab this one. I can do this. Oh, we're still under fire. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Limnal. And now the ship's health is really low, so I don't think we can do it. I'm on fire in here. That's not good. Did we do it? We did it! Oh, wow. That was a lot closer than I intended there. I thought I'd boosted away enough, but I guess gravity pulled me back down again into range of the chasing ships, and they just started tearing me apart. But we didn't. We, we managed to get away, I guess because there was less fire, and it was closer to the... Uh, to our vent rooms at the front here, it was uh, dealt with more quickly. Phew! Yeah, that was a little bit close. We're currently going at uh, relativistic speeds here, away from this planet. Let's boost back towards a bit. That's a lot, actually. And try and continue the fight. I don't know where the fleet we were attacking was, though. Was it that one? Is it there? No, that's just a, that just looks weird because of angles. Maybe it's these guys here, because it was a group of just fighters. And not particularly any missile guys. I must have my revenge! Will not go too quick. I do want to be regen fully before I try this again. That's the thing, like a fleet of the uh, of the fighters is almost worse than uh, than one of the missile guys. Almost worse than two of them. Alright, coming into range very rapidly. Slow it down. 
Give ourselves a second to finish healing up. And dive in. And see, is this... Uh, this looks like the same group, possibly. Then they're in particular, like, fleet composition, so this might just be... The same style of thing, but not the same group. And hopefully we're not set on fire this time. One down, two down, this is good. It might be the, the group I fought before, it didn't seem to take very long to shoot one of them down just then. But come on, come on, need to be doing damage. That was a terrible bit of fighting by me there. Go after this guy. Three down. Oh, taking some hits. One of them managed to get behind me. Four down. Go head on to this guy. Swing round, give chase. Five down. Charge at this guy. I'm so methodical. Ow. Six down. I think I'm losing count. Missed that guy completely. Where is he gone? There's someone there, I'll just go after him. He's just running away, what is this? Coward. Come back and get blown up, there we go. Seven down? This guy chasing me, no you don't. Eight down, is there any more? Yep, I'm being shot at still, here he is. And nine down, is that all of them? Yes it is. Much better. Took a bit of a hit, but that's just what it's like with these things. Alright, where to next? Let's find a missile guy. There's one. We'll go for him. I mean, hopefully it's one. We'll see when we get there. And then after this, assuming we, we do okay, I'm going to try one of those big things. Let's not approach too quick, because I again, I want to be healed before I try this. Particularly. Just gently drift towards. I mean, I'm once again confused about exactly how you pronounce the name of this this game. Because now I've heard, uh, what is it, Rodina? Specifically, because I've, I've done Ro Rodina, and I've done Rodina, but now it might be that it's Rodina. And it was just sort of a mix of the two, and I, and I went in two wrong directions. But it's all very confusing, really, because the developer is American, but he's, he's like... The world that this is in is clearly, like, everyone on, well, the, the majority of the people on Rodin appear to be Russian. And therefore, it, its proper pronunciation will probably be the Russian pronunciation, whatever that is. And everyone's just really confused. Every time I change the way I pronounce it, people tell me that that's wrong and the previous one was right. Here we go, it's two of them, so it's not the easiest thing. Oh, missile. Where's he gone? Where'd he go? There he is. Trying to run away. Come on. He's not doing much right now. Well, he's launching the odd missile, which is enough to cause trouble. Steady. Oh. Did I just dodge that? I just dodged that. That was awesome. And we t took one out. And that's a lot of missiles. Whoa. Okay. Time to boost away a bit. Combat speed. And then... Oh, I didn't kill him. I thought I did. Curses. Must be pretty battered though, but now I don't know which one's which. Actually, is he? Oh, he's on fire, so I can I can shoot at the one that's on fire. A lot of missiles coming in. Come on. This is really hard when there's two of them. But keep good aim. I'm just going to focus on that guy and try and kill him. Except there's missiles getting closer. Oh, I think we got him. Okay, now there's just one. Ow. Actually, that was our first hit. Oh, jeez. That's painful. Come on, we can kill him. Just keep blasting him. There we go. All is good. All right. I think we're ready for a bigger challenge. And now I can't see one. There's one. They always, they all seem to be in, like, high orbit. Perhaps some sort of orbital bombardment thing. Let's get a bit of speed towards one, but we'll we'll not start boosting towards it much till we're fully healed. I do wish you healed out of combat slightly quicker. It can be annoying sometimes just sitting around waiting. And three, 
two, one, boost. Let's get there nice and quick. See what we're looking at. Really is a long way away. It was a lot further around the planet than I expected. It's really high up. And whoop, we've gone past it. Steady on. Stupid liminal after effectness. Moving at a more normal speed. Here we go. Here it is. Okay. It's big, it's got missiles. It's got a lot of missiles. Immediately. Many of them. Can I shoot them all out of the sky? A lot of these do more or less damage than the uh, than the ones the stars fight. Oh wow, it's got some sort of massive cannon that it's bombarding me with. I'm going to make sure to keep moving. It's got a cruising speed. Can we get in range and do a bit of shooting? Just batter it. And watch out for the missiles. Steady. Oh, and I think it fires the plasma cannon out the front of it, so let's not face the front of it. I don't know why I've decided to call it the plasma cannon. I just assume all, like, really powerful weapons are probably plasma. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Come on. It just keeps firing them. I've done a good job so far of shooting them down, but at some point I'm going to mess up really badly and get hit by, like, eight at once and die. More blasting. Oh, have we got it? Is it just on fire a bit? I can't tell. Let's boost away. Not too quick. Is that it dead? I think that's it dead. I think I did it. Thank God there were no other ships around. Oh, oh I'm still being chased by missiles. Finish the last ones off. So we can have a look at what we just killed. Oh, where's that? Oh, there it is. I couldn't come out with the final missile was there. There we go, let's go have a look at this. This thing is huge. Good thing is it's a big target, and it moves slowly. So you just gotta focus on dodging the missiles and you'll be fine. Oh, it's really big. Can I, can I crash into it? Oops, steady. Easy does it. And... Oh, we went straight through it, but yeah, that is huge. Alright, moving on. Should we try kill another one? I reckon we should try kill another one. Let's push our luck. There's one over there. Just liminal at it a bit. Yeah, keep like I keep getting pulled down as I liminal towards the planet. Whoops. There we go. Steady, steady. keep boosting like this towards it till we get there because the thing's miles away. Oh, steady. Where'd it go? Is it that one? I think it's that one. Let's move in. I'm waiting for one to be surrounded by like the, the missile star ships or something horrible. Here we go. Oh, don't be in front of it. That's dumb. Stay away from the front of it. I don't know how much damage that cannon does. I don't want to learn this. I'm happy you're not knowing. Many, many missiles. Many more. Oh, it's firing at me. Move away. Blast him a bit while the missiles aren't nearby too much. Except now they are. He's constantly firing more of them. And constantly turning to try and shoot me. I could try using my own missiles on this, but... I must learn to do it the hard way. If we ever wish to succeed against the, the worst things that we'll encounter in the, the coming planets. And I think the trick basically is to boost past all the missiles and shoot the thing a bunch. And then go back to taking out the missiles when you're done. There we go. Just a couple more over here. And we're safe. One more dealt with. Alright, is there much else around? Eh, let's finish off with, with a good old-fashioned shootout with one of these missile guys down here. Or many of them, as the case may be. 
And then I think with that, we will move on to Morena. And at some point in the future, we'll come back here and kill every remaining alien here. Is this guy in atmosphere? I can't tell. Must be getting close. Here we go. Alright, he's got a fleet of four. See if we can take out those nice and quick. Blast past him. Attack from behind. Try and take them out very quickly before the missiles can turn up because they're already on their way. That was one down. We're not killing them quick enough. Boost away. And now they're all together. Two fighters left and the missile guy. That's that one down. We half killed him earlier. Oh, missiles, missiles. Finish them off. Oh, if you're going to run straight at me, then I'll shoot you. Sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And there's the fighter. Got him. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's not bother with any random missiles flying about. Probably be fine. Liminal away a bit. Get ourselves a bit of distance from Perun. Let's go to the, the light side to say goodbye. There we go. We shall see you again, purple giant. But we have business in the outermost reaches of the Zorica system. Let me check the scanner. Yeah, that's where it is. So it's on this side of the sun, the other planets aren't. So let's basically fly away from the sun, you'll probably arrive on the right planet. So if we swing around, there's our question mark. That is our target beyond the uh, asteroid belt. And here we go. Making sure to stay on target. This will be a, some something of a longer journey because of how far we have to go to get to this place. But we are already on the, the correct side of the uh, solar system, at least. There go the asteroids. You could maybe briefly see them on the side. I don't know if YouTube Compression much likes this particular mode of flight. And here is the planet. A pale blue dot. Morena. And there's all the enemies. That's a lot. I don't see any new kinds of circles, but there are more circles than before, I would say. But uh, let's go down to the surface and have a look around. Yeah, a lot of these big guys around now. I don't know whether they, they now come with uh, with friends. We will have to see. Let's target this pair of uh, spots down here. Look at that, there's some lovely like stripes to it. A bit like Saturn or whatever. Jupiter sort of thing. But this is not a, any sort of gas giant, as you will see. Let's blast down. I believe we have the device from, from Gerillo that allows us to uh, to survive in the climate because this is an ice world and is thus very cold. Keep it steady. Any second now we're going to hit the atmosphere. Slow down for that. Wait, <laughs> let's not reverse. Nice and steady. Piece of cake. I'll just hop out and wander around. I've reduced the shaking just a smidge, so it's not quite so uh, vomit-inducing. We can go wander around our ship, retire to the captain's quarters for a while, watch out of the window as the, the, the fire streams by, get a view of the sun there. Apparently the sun is red in the atmosphere of, uh, of Morena and the sky is green. Nearly halfway down. There are a few enemies that are quite nearby. We might get attacked shortly after landing on this place. We can go have a quick shower on our way. Oh, missed. Quick shower on our way down. Oh, you can't enter the shower. It's 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 a box of impenetrability. Anyway, back to the uh, the pilot seat before we crash. And there is. One of our target locations. There's the other one. For the first time, we're, we're down close to the surface. We can still see two points. But uh, I love the uh, the layout of Morena. Because it's got ice canyons. And they're amazing. And we will have some fun 
with those incoming episodes, but in the meantime, we'll just plonk ourselves down on this debris field. Oh, it's it's sort of in some tiny pocket here. I wonder if we can land in that. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. Maybe we'll land in this one up here. Steady, steady. Docking speed. Plonk ourselves down in this little dip here. Ow, ow, ow. We're, we're upside down a bit. Steady. And we're right way up again. Everything is fine. Moving about a bit. It's all good. And uh, shortly we will go out there and see what uh, the debris field will give us. We are now looking for something that will allow us to get to uh, to the next world at some point. While we're around here, we should find it. Uh, but for now, I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.